one thing is going to happen. I am going to drop you on the... Ignore them! Ignore them! I am going to drop you on the deck. Wrap your stubby little arm around your head. Lock the shackle gates and you will tap out to Liverpool's number one. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Gibson. John Silver, oh my not God, too man. keen, knocked him out. Oh. I don't think anybody's ever come to Somerville for a Beyond Wrestling show and got such an ovation like Mr. Zach Gibson standing in the ring with number one raw dog, John Silver. JT, a big victory earlier today, knocking off one of the UK's very best in Martin Stone. I needed a victory tonight. I needed a, I needed a rebound after American Rana. Huge victory for John Silver defeating me. And tonight, I actually am, am pulling for him. We're pulling for America here. Uh oh. Uh, I wanted you on the call. I wanted to ask you one very specific question. We'll get to that in a bit. Oh! And Zach Gibson is looking to break the uh, the stubby arm. Is that how he described it, of John arm. Silver? Lock the shanty gates in on him, and he will tap out. So submission oh. specialist. Zach Gibson, he came in with a game plan, was able to weather the storm of John Silver. The raw dog was a little hot under the collar. And uh, you would think that that's a very ignorant game plan from Zach to come in here, run his mouth, and, uh, and have to take the onslaught from John Silver. But he knew what he was getting into. He knew he'd come in here, he'd rile these people up, he'd rile Silver up. We all know raw dog is a hothead. He acts on impulse. First shot, it, it didn't end Zach. Now he finds himself having to weather the storm of Gibson, who, from what we can see already, is planning to rip him apart limb from limb. Of course, John Silver likes to utilize that Batista bomb to sit out a power bomb, also the torture rack into a blue thunder. But I do want to ask the question now that I have the opportunity. Uh, we've seen John Silver a few times this year utilize that punt kick. Yes, sir. Uh, that is one of the most dangerous maneuvers in professional wrestling. You were on the receiving end of that at American Rana. Uh, do you think that that is crossing the line? I'm, I don't think it's crossing the line in the way that John Silver used it. It's very effective on his end. I can tell you with 100% certainty, uh, there's only one person in pro wrestling who has hit me harder in my head than John Silver, and that's Chris Hero. Silver hit me with that pump kick. I don't even remember what came before it. I remember the punt kick hit me right in the temple. I woke up in the locker room. Uh, if he's able to get Gibson down on his knees and, and effectively hit that pump kick, which right now it looks to be his best weapon, uh, the arm a little a little loose already, not going to lock in the Batista bomb, the spin doctor, uh, that torture rack blue thunder bomb. He needs all of his momentum on his shoulders. He needs to be able to lift. And this uh, Gibson's got about, I would say, half a foot on him, and easily he's got 40, 50 pounds on him. It's yeah, going to be difficult already. Definite size discrepancy. I mean, you talk about Chris here being the hardest hitter that you've ever been in the ring with. That guy stands six and a half feet tall. Yeah. Uh, Silver giving up a lot of size to somebody like Chris here. And the polar opposite here is John Silver, and he hits just, just about as hard as him. But Silver, obviously educated feet, but he's so explosive Very in his offense. So. But again, it's a matter of being able to regain his bearings to get back in the driver's seat. Look at Struggling this. right here. We can talk about his size all we want. John Silver is a powerhouse. He is able to do things a man his size should not be able to do. And the scary thing about Silver is he can do it 10, 12, 15, 20 minutes deep into a match. He finds this level that he's never really had before. And he's able to just get in there oh. and just start linking things together like this. And next thing you know, you're sleeping. Loves the backcracker out of that. That half jacket, backcracker. Only good for a near fall. Gonna wonder if fatigue is gonna be a factor coming to this matchup. Gibson uh, competing against WWE's Jack Gallagher last night at Progress Wrestling in New York. And John Silver uh, was putting a few back. So obviously uh, definitely different preparation for both competitors coming to this matchup. That sounds awkward. That sounds like it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a good game plan. But for Silver, that's kind of what he does. And that kind of is what gets him ready to do things like this. It was he, the first time that he's ever been uh, on time for a show. It was today. <laughs> so he was pretty proud of that. <laughs> he must be really excited to kick yeah, yeah, this guy's he, he chest. Really, he really wants to ride that wave of momentum with a victory over Zach Gibson. So. Which would be huge for him. Oh! 
with kicks like that, it shouldn't be too difficult, let's be real. But you see John Silver with all of the high profile matches he's had in Beyond Wrestling over the last year. I mean, obviously, with that comes confidence. And uh, sometimes that confidence can be mistaken for cockiness, and it could allow for an opportunity for somebody like Zach Gibson to do something like that, try and sneak a victory, instead rolling him through and trying to target that left arm once again. Very smart here, using the cross face to try to break the grip of John Silver to isolate the arm by itself. To, to assure his progress oh. of the shanty gates being locked in, but no, a TKO. Oh, and that man! Running chest kick. Oh, that one caught me last time. That hurts. That hurts real bad. And that noise is just the air being driven out of somebody's lungs. That kick right there, it, it gives your body such a weird sensation. You lose your breath and you think that's the worst part. It gets worse from there. Your body turns cold. You start trying to find that breath and you, it feels like somebody just put on the AC at negative 10 degrees. And you just start breathing heavy. You're not able to regain. The room gets blurry, and you end up in a front face lock like this, being choked. Well, Silver, Silver trying to jockey for position. That could have been a, out of instinct, but it also could have been a mistake as he left that left arm vulnerable, and Gibson continues to target it. He's going to have to switch his uh, his momentum here. He keeps trying to grab with that left arm, which is uh, just natural habit. He needs to start grabbing from the right. Got him hooked up. It's a two zone. Oh! oh driving the knees into the face. A potentially concussive maneuver. Very innovative offense out of Zach Gibson. I don't even remember the last time I've seen that move. The only other person I've seen in pro wrestling really uh, use that effectively was the Granakuma. Able to uh, get the both knees into the chest, but the downside for John Silver here is he, he tried to put his arms in there to block the, the knees coming into the chest. Did a little bit more damage to that left arm. Well, the one intangible when it's time to dig deep in the match is whether or not you have the crowd on the side. Right now, we hear the crowd against Gibson, but they, they're not ruined for the raw dog yet. They know he's still got a little bit more fight left in him. When he's down and out and he's really groggy, kind of probably reminiscent of what he looks like when he's about 12 deep, uh, he starts rocking around the ring. Like now, crowd starts to realize Silver's, Silver's about to open a can. Oh, oh under the chin. One of the worst though, I mean, Sometimes you see these pissing contests where it's like, come on, let's go shot for shot to see who's tougher. And sometimes Battle the competitors matter. outsmart each other. That's what Gibson looks to be doing here. Every time Silver needs, rattles off a shot, yeah. But Silver's starting to get more and more He's momentum go to the on arm. the side. Gibson needs to take a take offense of that arm. And maybe that, this could just be a ploy, JT. It could be. You see Silver, every time he gets a chance, he keeps grabbing a, that collar lock on Gibson with his left arm, leaving himself very vulnerable. Oh, you keep seeing there a lot of these shots to the chin, the underhook. There, oh my god, Silver's landed about four shots in a row in the, in the eye. Oh, oh there's that pump kick. They're sleeping on each other. Oh, man. I think Gibson would have went down if not for the fact that Silver crumpled underneath him. Neither man in a pinning predicament. Referee checking on both guys. We've got to be on uh, Dream Street at this point. Yeah, the way they just fell, just saved the match for Zach Gibson here. If he would have hit the canvas, Silver would have been able to fall on top of him. Oh, right to the ear. That'll screw up your equilibrium. Absolutely. Now you're, you're already dizzy. You've been kicked in the head. You've been punched in the temple 16 times in a row. Now you get slapped across the face. This room is spinning. Of course, oh. uh, you know, for those athletes that do have the presence of mind where they are in the ring at any given time, that can definitely distort their point of view. Oh, that caught him low. These ones are going right into the sternum, really taking them oh. out. Oh, inside out. On that big Larry. Oh, under the chin. They are nailing each other in that pressure point under the chin. Which for those of you who don't know, he's going to give, sleep. Sorry to interrupt you, Jimmy. Code breaker. Has Gibson given up on the strategy, though? Do you realize that J that maybe John, so, just a second away, I was going to say, do you think that maybe he realizes that Silver's extremities are just too strong and that a submission is not going to do the trick, so instead he's going to keep his distance no, he's going right and back strike to it. with a higher range? Right, right back to it. I was going to say, one of the things that's very beneficial from the British style of wrestling is the culture of patience. They're able to lure you in make, and have you make mistakes. Uh, they give you that false sense of security. Like you said, oh, now he's taking the offensive oh. legs. He's taking it to the head. You don't know where it's coming from. Oh, oh Lord. That's all, that, you break your neck like that. Your head don't bend like that. You're not a Pez dispenser. Yeah, You're a human being. Silver, Silver's vulnerable. He needs to protect every part of his body, which leaves his left arm, which five minutes ago was in a lot of trouble. It leaves him vulnerable now. Oh, look at that counter, though. Oh, here it is. This one's for Big Dave. Big Dave. Batista bomb. Pulls him through. And done. And done. Oh! Not taking any chances at John Silver. Knocking out Zach Gibson. Way to pull that one out, Johnny Silver.